Hey everyone, I am Bryce, and today I am going to explain to you how to make a game website on Google Sites. Stick around until the end to discover the step-by-step -step process for building an engaging and fun website to showcase your favorite games. Let us get started. So, to make our game website, we are going to be following the strategy that some other game websites use, and that is, we are going to be using Google Sites. So simply go to sites.google.com. Now we are going to create a brand new one. You can also use the templates available here and explore more from the template gallery. So let us click on blank. From here, you can kind of add a design on how you want your website to look. Now you can have a title and name it. I am simply adding unblock games and you can use any other site name. Here I am going to write Maddie unblock games. This doesn't matter as much unless you want it to show up in SEO or Google search engine. There are multiple ways of doing this. For each game, we are going to have to create our page. Next, we're going to hit the Pages tab from your right panel. Next, from the bottom, select the New Page option. Next, from the bottom, select the New Page option. Now let us add the game. I am going to type in Game as my page title and you can add whatever you want. Then hit Done. Next, open a new tab. We have to go find our slope game because we are not going to create the game ourselves. We are just going to search for a slope game. Hit enter and you can see the first website that pops up should be the slope game. Now we are going to click on it, then go to the URL and copy the URL. Next, go back to our game website and we need to insert our game now. So we are going to hit the insert button, then click embed. After that, paste the URL we have just copied. So we are going to embed by URL. Control plus V to paste the URL in there and hit embed. Now we have the game on our page. You can hit publish if you want to, if this is acceptable for you. But you might notice that this is literally just the entire website that we just copied from. You can see the other games on the right hand side here. It doesn't really fit the page that well. So I am just going to publish it to show you what it looks like. This is where you can type in your web address. We are just going to leave mine as Batty and Block Games. Hit publish and now officially your website is on the internet ready to share with your friends and just hop into some gaming. If we view it, like I said, it doesn't really fit it. You have the sidebar over here with all these comments. So here is the way I actually recommend adding games. Go back to our Unblock Game website and I am just going to delete what we added. Now you can go to another Unblock Game website. Open a new tab and search for Tyrone Unblocked Games. You can see this website already has a ton of games in it. So we can actually just steal games from this website and add them to ours. This time let us add Prison Gates. Click on that and we are going to let the game load real quick. Now what you want to do is right click off the game hit inspect and this column should pop up right here what we're gonna do now is click this little arrow on the top left right here it is going to let us select any element within the web page click on the game now we have our canvas selected right here but we want to select the html above that on most games it is not going to be this first html tag it is going to be the one after this iframe right here you're going to click on that right click then hit edit as html we are going to control plus a to select all the code and select control plus c to copy it let us go back to our unblock games website now we are going to go back to embed. We are not using this URL this time. We are actually going to embed our code. Then just control plus V to paste all our code. And then we hit next. We should get a preview right here because it is loading up the game. We can hit insert and now we have a nice square box of our game. There are no advertisements anywhere. We can resize it if we need to. Once done, hit published. When we view our published site, you will see how much cleaner this looks compared to the last one we added to our game. But it is a little bit more diff but it is a little bit more difficult, but we do have to go within the code. But I'd recommend going this way if you want to make your website look a little bit cleaner. On that note, that will be it for this video. I hope you guys got some value. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.